the earthquake was big. We had some over 8,000 people dead and about three times as many people injured. What we saw is the buildings that were constructed in a poor way with negligence of the building code, gross negligence, those were the ones that got damaged. The livelihood of the people, of course, was heavily disturbed by the earthquake. And if I speak now only of the, of the temples, uh, of the monuments, of the shrines, many of them were destroyed. And then on tourism, of course, after the earthquake, there was almost no tourism. So the people were afraid of coming here. Losing the heritage means losing the nation. It's not only that they attract tourism or they are contributing to the economy. It is our life. And that is the first reason to be worrying about and then they need to be constructed. जिसले काम करता खेती उपलब्धता जाना होने पर हो जैसे यूज़ तो काम और हम खर्च दे रहे लाख से एकदम सुवाबी कराओ कि उन्हें ऑपरेटिव बोर को जैसे ये ये वाला डॉक्टर ले ह्यूमन इमार्ट एनाटॉमी को जिले ऑपरेशन करी रखे कौन सा त्यों गर्दा उल्ले कते रिसर्च करे कौन सा The way we help the department of hands-on trainings and we also bring them experts who can really help them like really tackle the problems or just the questions that they have. There is no general recipe for rebuilding better and uh, this is a very slow process but even if we uh, take a longer time this is nothing in comparison to the very old age of these of these monuments, you know that that some some of the temples go even back to fifth century. So I think we should take the time in order to find the right method for each of the temples. The Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction. It talks about understanding risk. Build back better is the biggest opportunity. We trust in the people and work with the people together to make the country more resilient by combining the traditional knowledge with the modern system of engineering and science.